Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I want to do a speed test against the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now I know I don't like doing speed tests because I think both of these phones are super fast and they're going to be literally perfect for like any single person that buys them. It doesn't really even matter which one opens up Facebook faster. But I know there are a lot of people out there that still like to do uh, or still like to watch speed tests. And that's pretty much the main reason I'm doing this video. So just kind of to put the specs in order, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has 512 gigs of memory along with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, meanwhile, the OnePlus 7 Pro has 256 gigs of memory, but it has 12 gigs of RAM. And it also has a UFS 3.0 as opposed to 2.1, which does, or theoretically it should help open up apps faster and actually download apps from the Google Play Store much faster and we will definitely be uh, testing that out. You know, before you guys say, why are you testing out an eight gig device, you know, eight gigs of RAM with 12 gigs, uh, mainly because uh, I looked up the prices for the 12 gigs of RAM, well, one terabyte, 12 gigs of RAM, Galaxy S10 Plus, and that's about $950, 900, at least in the US. You can get some unlocked versions from uh, around the world, but they're the Exynos models and you know, Exynos uh, S10 Plus isn't that great at all. The battery life is bad and overall it's just not as good as uh, Snapdragon. But from what I know, Snapdragon still costs about $900 for the 12 gig model. I figured this thing brand new is uh, $750, 12 gigs of RAM and um, 256 gig of memory. So that's kind of why I'm testing out because for the price, if you want the highest RAM, you're definitely going to want to go with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, but maybe that won't even matter. This is what the speed test is for. So let's get into it. So we're going to start out with some of the more demanding tasks, which is going to be games. So let's clear everything from the background. There's nothing over here and there's also nothing over here. So let's go ahead and start out with Mortal Kombat. So the, uh, the OnePlus won that one by a slight little margin. I don't even think it matters. So now let's do everyone's probably favorite, PUBG Mobile. So it looks like the OnePlus loaded the animations faster, but we'll see who gets to play the game faster. Oh, I think the Galaxy might get this. Yeah, look at that. The Galaxy actually uh, loaded it up quicker. So now let's do some of the more basic activities that I'm pretty sure everyone opens up at least a few thousand times a day. So we're gonna start out with Facebook. And I'm pretty sure that was a tie. Maybe the OnePlus opened up the animation slightly faster. That doesn't look like it's a good idea, just saying. So now let's open up HBO now. So the OnePlus definitely loaded up the, um, you know, all the video previews and all that faster. Now let's go ahead and open up Instagram. So the OnePlus is definitely... Okay, well that's weird. The OnePlus opened it up much, much faster. The Galaxy kind of hung, but both of them refreshed to the new images at the same exact time. So now let's do my Verizon. Oh, uh, that one opened it up faster, the OnePlus. So now let's open up the Nest Cam. Let's see which one opens it up and actually puts the preview faster. On Nest. So it looks like the OnePlus definitely loaded it up much faster. Now let's go ahead and do Netflix. So the OnePlus definitely got that one as well. 
By the way, guys, I forgot to mention all these are set to 0.5 animations. So uh, no worries about that. Snapchat. Well, that one opened it up faster. Obviously, you can't have two Snapchats open at the same time, but the OnePlus did open it up faster. And that, that, as you guys saw, that camera came out really quick. Now let's open up YouTube. Okay, so the Galaxy opened it up faster and YouTube Music. And the OnePlus opened it up much faster. So honestly, it's the same thing. So now we're, we are going to do a speed test, but first we're actually gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. We're gonna wait a few seconds and then we're gonna turn the Wi-Fi back on, let it find it. Okay, and then now, so this time we have like a little fresh reboot of the Wi-Fi to make things a little more fair. So we're gonna click on go. And it looks like the OnePlus for some reason is a lot faster than the Galaxy. After this round, I'm gonna do them both separately. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the difference. I have no idea. But 194 here, 31.2 here. Yeah, this has to be some sort of weird glitch because um, uh, the, the, Sam, uh, the Samsung does have faster download speeds, I think, or at least it's supposed to. So yeah, let's go ahead and run them both, but at different times. That's weird. Uh, they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I only have one. So I have no idea what happened there. All right, so let's check the settings and I'll prove to you guys this is on the same Wi-Fi network. See, V-A-S-I-M, V-A-S-I-M. So they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, but for some reason, the Galaxy, let's test this again. Even I don't believe this. <laughs> Oh, come on, come on, come on. You almost had a hundred. Oh no, what are you doing? I'm noticing it has a very, it goes up quick and then it just kind of settles down. I, I don't understand why it's doing that. So again, that's, that's very low, but let's see if that actually translates to real life usage. So we are going to uninstall it and then we're going to hit it at the same time and then we're gonna see which one downloads first. Maybe the speed test, I mean, we all know speed test isn't exactly accurate. So maybe this will be a more real life representation. Uh, proceed. So we'll see who uh, finishes up first. That's a 1.86 gigabyte file. So we're, we just passed 80% on the OnePlus and we're getting to 40% on the Samsung. So the OnePlus is having, okay. I was gonna say it got kind of stuck on 99%, but now it's installing it and that's it. We're playing Fortnite or not Fortnite, PUBG. So now it's actually downloading a file as well in the game. Meanwhile, this Galaxy is still actually downloading the download itself. <laughs> so the OnePlus has shown me nine megabytes per second. That's pretty good, to be honest. Seven, eight, nine megabytes per second. So we had time to download the game, download a file, and then reopen it by the time the Galaxy just finished, or almost finished downloading it. Yeah, something weird is going on. I have no idea what it is. So there you go. It just finally now opened. So this is really weird and I don't believe this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi again, just only on the Galaxy. And then I'm gonna restart it. So I just turned the Wi-Fi back on. I'm going to verify that it is on VASIM and we'll do another speed test real quick. Maybe something changed. So let's do the Galaxy first. Oh, there you go. I knew something really weird was going on. Okay, so we're gonna do the PUBG test again. So boom, there you guys have it. I knew something really weird was going on. I have no idea why my first Wi-Fi network wasn't 
cooperating with me that well. But, um, so we're, yeah, oh my God, that's really good. Damn, look at you, OnePlus. You just gotta be showing off, don't you? So 317, and my upload is always around 23, 24. That's, that's never a big shock. This is, very, yeah, this is getting kind of boring, so I'm gonna, we all, we all know that the Wi-Fi is now fixed. We're gonna go back into the Google Play Store. We're gonna uninstall it. And now we are going to install it at the same time with the fixed Wi-Fi and we'll see who downloads quicker. So OnePlus just finished up. It's at 99%, but it's hung up a little bit. As always, uh, Galaxy kind of caught up, but uh, let's see which actually can play first. So that one's already playing and the Galaxy is still doing its weird 99% hold. So now this one's got to download that file again. Meanwhile, the Galaxy still did not really... Uh... There we go. So now open. We're going to click on OK allow and now this one's got to download it and the oneplus is now finished so this one is now downloading the file meanwhile this one already did download the file and all it has to do is just restart to play the game so oneplus is done meanwhile the galaxy just started its reboot so the speed difference between uh, the OnePlus and the Galaxy, at least when it comes to um, kind of using the internet or anything that involves internet, the OnePlus, I mean, as you guys see, you know, it's, it's obviously much faster. And now this one finished. So we're using Chrome on both browsers. And now we're gonna do an internet speed test. So it looks like the the, uh, the Galaxy won that one. So now we're gonna do Nat Geo TV. So that was pretty much identical. Let's scroll down to the channel homepage. So it, it I mean these phones are so identical. It's almost you can't really tell which one's good, which one's not good. One does something better, one does something worse, and then vice versa. Both of these phones in my eyes are perfectly identical, perfectly the same. They're good enough to be honest. But let's see how many apps are open in the background now. So we're, we're gonna start out with the OnePlus. So Mortal Kombat, still open. Asphalt 9, yeah, that, that's, that's still open. YouTube, still open. YouTube Music, still open. Instagram, still open. Verizon, I think think that was a reload I'm not entirely sure let me know HBO good snapchat good nest cam good Netflix is good Facebook good why are uh, the, the settings is good <laughs> Google Play, PUBG, still working in the background, that's good. Speed test, still there. Chrome, and we're back at Mortal Kombat. So if, if I'm correct, no apps had to be reloaded, but now let's check eight gigs. Obviously this is not a fair test, but again, for the money, 12 gigs on this is cheaper than 12 gigs on this. So let's start out with Asphalt. I don't know if that was a reload. Probably not. Yep, that's not a reload. Mortal Kombat. Yep, had to be reloaded. Facebook. HBO Now is good. Good. Excellent. Nest Cam had to be reloaded. Netflix is good. Let's try Snapchat. Good. YouTube, good. 
YouTube music is good. Wi-Fi or settings is good. Google Play Store, good. PUBG, dang. Even that's in the memory still, nice. Speed test is good. That's good. That's good. And we're back at asphalt. So uh, both of these phones actually did not need to reload anything. So is 12 gigs of RAM needed at the moment? Probably not. Eight gigs is good enough as you guys clearly saw. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Both of these phones are excellent in their own way. Uh, the OnePlus, you can't go wrong with it. You can't go wrong with the Galaxy. Again, both fantastic phones. So guys, that's pretty much it. If this video helped you out, leave me a like, uh, subscribe to me. It honestly really, really helps because uh, this hobby of mine is super expensive. <laughs> YouTube is a super expensive hobby, okay? <laughs> and each like, each subscribe definitely helps me in the long run. So I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Again, any, uh, any comments, anything, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, that's it. This is Mark from Mark's Tech and adios.